I believe this storyline will probably, if the Soap Awards were happening this year, would break a lot of the awards. And ultimately, I feel like it would be one of the more groundbreaking storylines Hollyoaks has done in a long period of time. And this one will probably transcend the era and become one of the more known storylines and have a bit more of an impact on the outside soap world. Now, we've seen Frankie Osborne, the uh, daughter of Darren, struggle with... After a instance with Jack where he put his hand on her back, she believed that she touched him and that he touched her inappropriately, which has resulted in her mental health spiraling and is generally everybody struggling. And it's been implied that it was maybe like the stepdad who seemed okay and that maybe it was that I suggested it would be the ballet dancer teacher, which, you know, but that's just seemingly her way of trying to kind of take back her innocence in a way um but it has now been announced that it was jj her brother who has sexually abused her now i think the interesting angle that my brain immediately took and i'll be completely honest with this my brain went how are they going to redeem jj which is quite ridiculous when you think of the topic being this is child sexual abuse this is sexual abuse on a, we're like with a child and you know they are the same age so it's like either way it's still messed up and it's kind of it's interesting how JJ has been angled as this main good go good guy fucking head of the football team popular attractive and then Frankie has been kind of labeled as this problem child which they have discussed in this article uh, as Frankie's always seemed to have issues, you know, she slapped Nancy and she's been struggling since the incident with Jack. Um, and this is a, it's a very, it's a very, it's a, it's, I believe it's, it's a very sobering topic and I think it's something that's very taboo. It's not something you ever hear really being talked about. It's definitely a first in soap. And it's also headed up by two really good actors of Isabel Smith and uh, do, 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 something Mulvaney, Dylan Mulvaney, uh, uh, wow, what's the, what's the, what's the, what's the guy's name? But I suppose, regardless, I'll... I'll go through the article a bit and then we can talk about why it's going to be so impactful. Um, doo -doo -doo. At the same time, uh, Jack has been getting close with grandson JJ and will be seen buying him a golden pair of football boots in new scenes. Next week it will be revealed that it was actually JJ who sexually abused his sister when they were younger. Frankie had repressed these memories but has now started to remember. This storyline will delve into the Osborne-Ashworth family dynamic, but JJ has always been treated like a golden boy, while Frankie was seen as the problem child. Playoaks producers are working with the, adv with the advocacy group SARSAS to shine a spotlight on, sexual on the issue of sibling sexual abuse, which has been traditionally under-reported. Uh, Hollyoak spoke person said it remains a hidden cro uh, chronically underestimated and untreated form of child sexual abuse needs to be ignored played down denied by parents professionals and authorities as harmless and or non-threatening childhood sexual experimentation that does not require attention this is despite the, the known lifetime effects of sexual violence and abuse on the health and happiness of survivors the Holyoaks team has had access to the result of the largest government funded research report on sibling sexual abuse, which was recently completed after a two year process. Oh. Um, producers have worked with SARSAS to ensure the issue is portrayed realistically, while the cast has been briefed to, on the new research. The Holyoaks producer Hannah Cheers has expressed hopes this story will shine out the spotlight on the issue that desperately merits attention and recognition. It's one of the more infrequently disclosed forms of sexual abuse, yet the statistics are startling, the producer said. 
Hollyoaks is shining a light on the issue for the first time in a long-term soap storyline. We need to get this conversation started amongst our multi-generational, our multi-generational audience. Our research, story, script, and writing teams have devoted themselves to telling the story truthfully and passionately. And huge support goes to SARSAS for their unwavering support to help us take this on. And the performances by the brilliant newcomers Isabel Smith and Ryan Muldaney. I believe this storyline will make an impact for years to come, and I'm proud that Hollyoaks is still breaking new ground almost four decades on. That's what we're here for. Um, and uh, Claire Bloor of SAISAS uh, gave its thanks to Hollyoaks for set by saying, Continuing dramas such as Hollyoaks have the potential to reach huge audiences and create change in a natural, in a natural conversation. Bloor said, this storyline is an opportunity to shine a light on the under-researched and under-discussed topic of sibling sexual abuse. We hope that it will raise awareness of both the prevalence of the prevalence of this issue and devastating impact have for those impacted by it. Through the portrayal of Frankie's story, we can take a step towards removing the shame and stigma so often attached to sexual abuse and the taboo of talking about it that allows it to thrive in silence. Um, and I just want to read a read a little segment from the uh, csacenter.co.org.uk um, article and it kind of says uh, child sexual abuse takes many forms but research that a significant amount of sex abuse is carried out by people known to the child including family members, uncles, family uh, fathers, mothers and by brothers and sisters and even a bit more the latest crime survey in England and Wales found more than a quarter of children who are sexually abused are abused by a family member. This is supported by the research which suggests sexual abuse of behaviour by siblings is a common form of intrafamilial abuse. Despite having the core skills to respond, many professionals report a lack of knowledge or experience to feel confident in doing so effectively. Indeed, research suggests that sibling sexual behaviour can make professionals particularly uncomfortable may lead to them minimising the seriousness of behaviour or even cat uh, cat catastroph catastrophizing catastrophizing it but neither we are it further to it to access services but yeah holy shit it's a it's a sobering thought really and i had to make a video discussing it and i still am not done yet so i will keep going in, into this but it's it's a very t taboo topic and i don't think it's one that's been explored from my memory, I can't say it's been explored in soap as well. And it's kind of the it's the way that they framed it where obviously yes, Frankie is the problem child, JJ is the golden boy, but now it's not as clear cut as this and his actions have led to her problems. And we'll see like really impactful performances from Suzanne obviously being like, How could I not see this? you know? Uh, we see Darren obviously probably tackle with his inherent bias of like liking JJ and then Jack being like, oh, JJ wouldn't do this. I feel like Nancy will play a bit a very big role as well. And I will just say that from the from even the, the minimal stuff they've done, I will say that Isabel Smith, the actress who plays Frankie, is phenomenal. And she's done a really good job so far at what we've seen. Um we haven't we obviously haven't had to see much more from JJ and I do look I, I, I'm interested in how they play it out. Because if if they are a long running character, you know, we now have like how are they going if they want to keep the character around, how are they going to do this in a way that is still genuinely traumatic? for Frankie whilst leaving it as open as it can to give good reason for JJ to stick around and be in the same house as someone who abused her and I think it'll just be it'll just be a really impactful scene and it'll be a really impactful storyline and I, I hope it's long running and I hope it's allowed as much time as it does deserve because as I said before, it's not a storyline that we've really seen in soaps before. We've seen like childhood sexual abuse by like a stepdad or a, a partner of your of your parent, or and we've seen that, but we've not 
seen this. And Hollyoaks has been on an absolute heater lately, so as much as this may be a rather uncomfortable topic to delve into, you can't just stay away from the topics that scare you. You do have to talk about these things as they are pretty integral and pretty important. And I will just say this is going to be good and this will probably be groundbreaking and one of the most uh, historically like accurate and I'm just trying to express that this will be a very groundbreaking storyline and I feel like this this is a storyline that wins awards and this is a storyline that makes Frankie one of the most loved Hollyoaks characters or at least one of the most loved newer Hollyoaks characters with how well it's going to be done. Um, but yeah, I think with that all said, that is me discussing the sibling sexual abuse storyline. Uh, not something I'm looking forward to seeing, but something that will be quite impactful and something just... It's just, it's bittersweet, right? You really don't want to see it happen. But ultimately, it's happening. And we can't do anything to deal with this. Between this and also the Rose uh, trans storyline, seemingly, I think Hollyoaks is, like, rediscovering its identity and tackling some of these topics that the more traditional soaps aren't really feeling too confident to take on. Um, and... It's kind of, it reminds me why I do love Hollyoaks, because they aren't afraid to shy away from these topics that may be more taboo, you know, maybe, you know, you do a trans storyline, you're gonna get ignorant people who are saying like, oh, this is grooming a child, it's like, it's, it's not though, is it, you know, it's identity, um, and you do a child, a, a, a incest, a, like, sexual abuse storyline, this is also going to get people talking because people are going to like JJ. People are going to like Frankie. People aren't going to like one of them being tarred as uh, as an abuser. Um, and this is what soap is for. It's for these storylines. And uh, yeah, as I said before, I'm not looking forward to this storyline. But in another sense, I am. Because I have full faith in Hollyoaks to do this justice and to not make a mockery out of something so many people go through and so many people struggle with. I believe in you, Hollyoaks. I think you're going to do a fantastic job. I think the act we're in great hands with the actors, and the writing has been stellar. So yes, there will be a sexual abuse, a sibling sexual abuse storyline on Hollyoaks. What do you think? Tell me in the comment section down below. I've been Ash from Watching Wolford. If you enjoyed my take on the storyline, want some more a realistic type coverage of the Hollyoaks news and just in general, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment what you think down below. Thank you for watching. This will be a rough one, and you know, get some fucking tissues ready because this one's probably never going to feel good. Thank you for watching. Join me in the next one. Bye bye.